Hey internet, uh, <laughs> real quick video. So uh, my name is Mark. I, I'm an average language learner, uh, I guess. So right now I'm learning Japanese uh, and Portuguese. Japanese going very slow. Portuguese has been a, a nice slow growth. Um, and I wanted to just kind of show an idea I had here. Um, of course I need to do this. And pretty much uh, ChatGPT. So ChatGPT4 was just announced yesterday, I guess. Um, sorry for the blurring, it shows my email and whatnot. There seems to be this... So machine learning understanding, um, whatever that is something, it stands for something like that. Multi-language, well, da, 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 da. Okay, so ChatGPT4 talks a lot about, uh, if you don't know what ChatGPT3 is, it's an it's an AI that's, it's you can have conversations with it, it can write whole games for you, whatever. I, I didn't really experiment with it much because I was like, okay, cool, <laughs> moving on. It talks a lot about uh, multi-language support and how it was using uh, translation things. I was reading this article on a different uh, browser. So I don't know where, it, where this is, but um, ah, here we go. So machine learning understanding, um, it, you know, how does it translate? Google Translate, you know, doesn't do word for word translation, does statistical learning. I don't, I didn't really l l read into this much, but something I toyed around with, with ChatGPT, P3 in other words, uh, as you can kind of see on the left here, is I, I started messing around with, with, with Portuguese. So really quick, uh, I haven't tested this or anything. I wanted to mess around uh, with Japanese, Portuguese, and French. So French, I'm like, I call it business proficient. Like my vocabulary kind of sucks, but you know, I I can have a conversation in French. But pretty much when you're, when you're talking, uh, when you're learning a language, I think one of the best things you can do is production, is speaking with someone. Um, I think writing is important, not for writing, but to see, you know, how you think, you know, the owl up there, hopefully he's proud of me. But anyway, <laughs> I'm speaking really fast. I just, I just wanted to, I don't know, do something with this. Uh, Japanese is probably my, my worst language as far as production goes. So we're going to start here. So in English, I'm going to say, Hey chat. Um, I am currently learning Japanese. I am a very beginner learner. I have passed the JLPT N4, but did not pass the JLPT N3 my listening is particularly bad. Um, please speak with me in Japanese, but limit your vocabulary to that of JLPT N5 and keep everything in the present tense. Additionally, please translate all of your messages uh, to English. And then lastly, I will ask you for feedback. I don't, okay, I don't remember exactly what I said for Portuguese, but yeah, so, Hajimemashite, watashi wa ChatGPT desu. Nihongo o benkyo shite uru no desu ne. I don't know this kanji. Um, but it translated it. Nice to meet you. I am ChatGPT, so you're studying Japanese. That's wonderful. So I guess, whatever that is. Watashi mo nihongo hanas, okay, koto, cool. I can actually understand. So, um, I as well, Japanese can speak. This is nominalization. Ga dekimas am able to. This whole thing is a subject. Dekimas able to. Anata ga. Uh, as for you, sukoshi. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna sit here and. But this is kind of probably how I'd do it. Oh, listening. Listening. I'd like the part which you said is a bit weak. Oh, cool. Um. Uh. Renshu, I think this is practice. Renshu o intermediary. No, that's not it. But itai to toimas. Please feel free to ask me anything. Um, okay, so <laughs> I actually I was like, wait, did it support Japanese? So let, let's see. Hajime mashite. Bokuga. We'll do bokuga namai wa maku. I hate the, this thing. Mark, uh, <laughs> I was just an evo say, but that's Portuguese. So, okay, nice to meet you. My name is Mark. Hajimemashite Maku-san, dozo yoroshiku no nungai shimasu. Awesome, nice to meet you. Maku-san, <laughs> Maku-san, all right. This is the thing. I don't really know very much Japanese here. So, I don't know. You can, okay, I'll, I'm just gonna end this here. I'm so embarrassed about Japanese, but I'll, okay, I gotta I'll ask, ask it one thing. Anata ga, so, Here's one thing with Japanese, right? You have these particles. So ga is usually a subject particle. You have the particle wa, uh, which is pronounced ha, but wa when it's a particle. That's the topic particle. So if I say anata ga uh, as the subject, I'm going to say, I'm going to ask it if it likes reading, right? Uh, and maybe, maybe it'll explain me the difference of the particles when I ask for feedback. That's what I'm going for here. So anata ga, you, uh, reading, 
Yomu, Yomi Mas, uh, Yomi Reading, Yomiru, uh, Suki, Suki Mas, Suki Des, Suki Mas ka? That could be so wrong, but. <laughs> Hi, uh, Watashi, I'm trying to block off the English here. Watashi wa. Nihongo Nihon o Yomu Koto ga Suki des. Yeah, so I like reading. And then there's other stuff. I especially like novels and manga. Okay. Anata wa donna. Okay. So I'm gonna end off the Japanese section here. Thank you so much. I don't know why I feel inclined to say thank you, but um, please give me feedback on what I have said. Sure, here's, your first sentence was good. You introduced yourself and mentioned that you're learning Japanese. The second sentence was a bit confusing. Aha, you used boku ga namai wa maku desu to say my name is Mak. But the more natural way to say it in Japanese is watashi no namai wa maku desu. Okay, the word order is important. Wait, what? That's what I... Okay, I just used a different thing for boku. So it's best to use the standard structure of watashi. Um, the third sentence is also a bit confusing. I think you were trying to ask if I like reading, but I end up translating, do you like to read me? Which doesn't make sense. The more natural way to ask that would be Yunga uh, deska. Okay, so reading. Do you like? Um, which means do you like reading? Uh, cool. So it, you know, that's pretty cool. It didn't, you know, it. I guess I used the right particle. Uh, you know, please tell me the difference between the ga particle and the wa particle. Uh, I'm using English ga and wa on purpose here. I want to see if it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mark the subject, do of an action, cool. Theta rolls, stuff, stuff, stuff. I wanna actually see that, let's see. Does that have anything to do with theta rolls? Oh, he's still going, <laughs> he's still going, it's still going. Ah! <laughs> I mean, I technically already knew this, but <laughs> yeah, cool. So as a linguini, this is a cool fact. Uh, and you know, you don't, uh, if you're just learning Japanese, you don't really care about linguistics. You don't have to read an article that tells you about theta rules, right? Um, I personally think it's really helpful to understand things, uh, you know, as far as linguistics goes. But yeah, so let's go ahead and make a new chat here. Boy, chat. Me nomi e Mark. Okay, I'm not. I'm learning. Asistindo. Eu es. Eu estou assistindo português. Você me ajudar? Claro, Mark. Eu ficarei feliz, eu juro. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, okay, so now please translate everything that was just said into English. Here's the translation. So you, hi chat, my name is Mark. I'm watching, oops, in Portuguese. Can you help me? Uh, what is the word for learn? Aprender. Okay, cool. Of course, Mark, I'll be happy to help. What's your question in Portuguese? Okay, cool. I am a beginner in Brazilian. Uh, that's probably being generous for me, but um, limited past tense to English. I would hesitate on this translation of everything into English. I don't know how helpful it's going to be otherwise, but yeah. Claro, vou falar com você em português simples e usar apenas words. No. Vocabulario basico. <laughs> Além de limitar o uso do tempo verbal no passado e... Oh, Jesus Christ, this is so long. Okay. Hola, como você está? Você estudando português agora? Uh, sim. Um, so let's start with simple sentences. Today is a nice day, no? The sun is out and the sky is blue. For once in Seattle, that is correct. <laughs> um... Você gosta de música? Eu gosto de ouvir música todos os dias. I like to listen to music all day. Cool. That's exactly what it is. Uh, from now on, stop translating into English. Okay, so I'm going to now have a little conversation in Portuguese with ChatGPT. <laughs> um, I don't know what composto means. Okay, well, no. Uh, I'm going to try and talk about something. There was limited past tense. No, there was no past tense. Yeah. Yesterday, I I did to the supermarket to buy bread and milk. Um, tomorrow, I will go to the cinema with my friends. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Amanhã, uh, eu vou ir ao cinema agora. Um, também. Uh, eu vou ir um filme. Uh, Uh, 
você sabe, você sabe não. Okay, so uh, I said tomorrow I'm going to the cinema as well. I'm going to see a film called Creed 3. Do you know it? I think that's what I said, but I guess I got close enough. It's it's a film about a box. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so thanks. I, I'm from Seattle and the sky is blue now. Tomorrow it will rain. That's my, I think. That's what I tried to say. Uh, you're welcome. It, uh, a bom saber. Good to know that the sky is blue in Seattle today. No entanto. I think that's like I don't know it's a I don't know what these are uh, rain tomorrow then but I said okay so I'm gonna ask it to translate everything and then give me some feedback uh, so I said yeah okay you're welcome it's good to know this guy's blue it's a shame that it's supposed to rain tomorrow remember to bring it oh I should have known Guadalajuva it's a Rosetta Stone word <laughs> um, as for your Portuguese, I can understand what you're trying to say. Here's the correct way. So good, good, good. So, eu moro em Seattle. Okay. E o seu está. Yeah, okay. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong e by a long shot. Azu agora. Amanhã acho que vai chover. In Portuguese, we use em instead of do when talking about where we live. And acho que instead of eu penso to say I think. Keep right. So, really, like, that's so good. That's actually like a really solid tip. Now, I think this is a really useful tool because it's constraining the vocab and, you know, it's forcing me to, to say things how I would. So tomorrow it will rain, I think. That's how, that's what I would say. But you don't say eu penso, even though the verb pensar is to think. Uh, apparently you say que vai chover. Uh, no, sorry, acho. Um, assuming they drop the subject eu and it's just acho, which is achar, I don't know. And it, and it constrains, so you don't have to worry about, uh, I don't know, speaking too fast with a native speaker or, you know, you don't have to tell a native speaker like, oh, don't use the past tense, oh, don't use the future tense, because how can you ask a native speaker of a language to do that? You know, it's 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 a constant flow of, of thought being turned into words, being turned into utterances, which are sound waves, blah, blah, blah. So, I've, you know, I think this demonstrates my point, and I think... It'd be cool, you know, I'm, I'm, could be next week, you know, you have something speaking this to you back and forth. Duolingo's speaking feature is actually, you know, it does pick, you can't just yell into it anymore <laughs> to, to pick up on the speaking thing. So now I'm gonna try speaking to chat in French, uh, the last thing, and I'm just gonna talk to it in French. I'm not gonna try and ask it to, to help me, but I will ask it to give me feedback. So bonjour chat. Oh my God, I just said eu trabalho in my mind. Whew. Uh, je travaille et deux litres. It wasn't really two liters, it was just one, but. So let's just see what chat says, right? And I mean, I can, you know, I'd love to make something with, the, with this whole concept, but no idea is so good or so special that it cannot be shared with the world. Um, wow, it is right and slow. Bonjour, Marc, I'm good, and you? Uh, you semble, I should know what that is, that you have worked today. Um, I hope that it was all good. Stay for good health. It is important to not drink too much water in one, in one go, uh, because this can put a lot of, I guess, pressure on your body and cause prob and cause health problems. It's recommended to drink about two to three liters per day um throughout throughout the day <laughs> uh do you have any feedback on my french i've confused it i'm now speaking english <laughs> uh your french is good i can comprehend what you want to say without difficulty it depends there are small errors in your text first of all the first letter of each phrase La première lettre de chaque phrase must be in masculine. Secondly, there are some errors of conjugations. They travail. Okay, yeah, because I forgot the accent. I'm sorry. I don't I hate putting accents on. Uh, lastly, when you write numbers, you must separate with spaces. Did I not do that? You, <laughs> two liters, you should write two liters. 
Oh, not two feet. These are minor errors compared to learners of French. Um, but you ugh, I should know that. Continue to practice and you will quickly improve. It's cool. So like, you know, I, I think coming up on a longer video than I meant here, but you kind of get my point. I'm, I just said something in French, chat responded in French. I asked for feedback on that simple sentence and it gave me some really minute details. I mean, yeah, I forgot the accents, whatever. My French teacher from high school, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> But uh, I don't know. That's pretty cool. You know, I th this is it's funny that it. How can you help me with listening practice? Um, I think this is a cool resource. You know, if you want to work on writing or uh, just in general practicing back and forth. Personally, my reading is like it's far easier for me to read things than it is to hear things. Like I'm sure if I had <laughs> Mark drank two liters. Um, you know, if I had listened to this conversation in Portuguese, I'd probably, I don't know. But for another time, um, definitely give this a shot. And, you know, ChatGPT 3 and probably 4, it's it's really all about prompts. Um, and I would recommend if you would like to do this, start your prompt with this, what you're learning and what your native language is. So for me, that's English. Say you're a beginner, try to do like a, if, if you're, most languages have a Sefer level. Um, it's this pretty generic, you know, maybe chat knows what that is. Maybe, maybe it'll know. Um, maybe it'll know. I'm just going to let, leave my thought there, but, um, ask it to limit, you know, ask for feedback afterwards. And it so far seems pretty good. I mean, even for French, it, again, it picked out some nitpicky things. Maybe it missed something. If you speak French, let me know. Uh, my French ain't perfect. It's, it's unpracticed, but. That's all for today. So, uh, I don't know. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, join the Discord. Would love to have some practice partners for Portuguese or Japanese. Uh, the Japanese Japanese squad is getting there. But, yeah. Have a good one. And, as always, don't forget to stay awesome. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, whatever that is. Peace.